Hello there YouTube. So I added a few things. I got uh, a T5 light here. Uh, probably I'm gonna see that. Got that at Walmart. Um, added some carrots to the system, like I showed you uh, last time in the, in the other video. In this bottle there, there was a paper towel. So what I did there, I added the paper towel right there. You can see it through the hydratons. It's growing. No problem. So I said, hmm, okay, my water level is here. Why did I not plant a few of them in my hand? Which I did. And there is a few there I can see here. One or two. One, uh, another one there, and another one there. So uh, what I, my point was that I could see the carrots grow. So what I did, my water level is here. I'm never going to rise on top of that. So I planted my seed there. You can still reach humidity, but then I'm going to reach the water and it will be flush because the seed is too small. So that's what I did for that, for small seeds. And the bigger seeds, there's no problem. Uh, weird stuff. My bean plant are twisting around the bamboo, which I added because uh, they were too thin. Uh, and uh, they started to drop. So I didn't want them to drop. I put that on bamboo sticks. And they started twisting on it. Weird fact, Monsanto, I don't know. <laughs> um, here, romaine lettuce, still growing, no problem. The onion, starting green, some green on it there. It started to grow in a massive root system too. Uh, here, peas are growing. Slow but steady. And the bets here are uh, okay. Beets uh, here. Fish are happy. No problem with the fish. I changed the bubbler there on the side. So it's making a wall for them. They're running in circle all the time. Right now they're shy because I'm right in front of it. They're all part there. Waiting for me to go away. It won't be long, guys. And uh, that's it. Feeding them once a day. Didn't have anything PPM wise. We're at uh, 300 or whatnot. A pH 7. Uh, nothing uh, really changed on that side. Uh, I'm. If I see that this is not growing any stronger there, the. the not the peas, but uh, the beans. If they're not growing any stronger and they started twisting like that, I might want to remove them. The carrots are eventually taking over really fast there. From what I can see, and uh, I'm really satisfied with that, and I'm really anxious to see the carrots grow there. I want to see that uh, growing life, and that would be really, really interesting since the back is uh, uh, transparent uh, plastic, so we're going to be able to see that, and uh, this is uh, very interesting for anyone who's growing a plant to see a carrot growing alive there. Um, but uh, that's what it is for now. I did a bunch of things uh, regarding that, a few changes, nothing drastic. I'm monitoring my system, uh, once in a while I'm checking the PPM and uh, the pH, uh, I don't move that much. And uh, besides being concerned for those there are twisting around, which is uh, really weird, especially that one there, it's like, uh, it went and find it, kind of, and it's still twisting on it, and uh, I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, my friend told me, Monsanto. <laughs> I was like, no. But anyway, uh, this is definitely something that I'm looking forward to. Uh, working or not working, uh, I'm really anxious to see if it's going to go any further. Uh, light should be getting those plants more lights. Maybe it's going to help. Uh, I'm going to try that out for a few weeks, see if it's giving anything a difference. And after that, uh, if it's still growing like that I might want to add a few fish maybe another 10 let's say because you're able to add a red fish uh, one red fish per half a gallon and I probably got like 25 maybe more gallon of water there <laughs> it's huge anyway that's what it is for now thanks